Hello everyone, welcome to a new Let's Play. Today we're going to be starting The Secret of Monkey Island, the special edition. So I've never actually played any of the Monkey Island games, and Return to Monkey Island is on my list of things to do, and I found out yesterday during Gamescom that it's coming out September 19th. So what I'm going to try to do, like the crazy person that I am, is get through the first Monkey Island game, the second Monkey Island game, and then play to Return to Monkey Island, because apparently that game is a direct sequel to the second one. And it, it ignores, like, uh, the third and fourth games or whatever. Anything that came after two, basically. So, let's hop in. I've never played these. I'm probably one of the few people that is going in completely blind on these. But here we go. Deep in the Caribbean. It's going to be neat to play the game that is the... that the, where Moon Logic started as a concept. The Island of Melee. <laughs> okay. Monkey Island Special Edition. So yeah, those were the old graphics, and then it just updated to the new ones here. I do wonder if there's a way to play with the old graphics, because yeah, the old graphics look about how I would expect when this game came out. <clears throat> what are those old greats that I missed out on back in the day? I'm always very interested in playing some of these that I just totally missed on the channel. Because it provides a unique perspective, because how many people haven't played this game? in this day and age. That grew up with it, at least. Alright, I'm excited to see what's offered. I know some people don't like the uh, art style change in Return of Monkey Island. I think it looks pretty neat. It reminds me of, like, Psychonauts and some of the stuff from Media Molecule, so it sounds pretty cool. So, we'll see what we got going here. I have played a bunch of adventure, point-and-click adventures during my time. I played all the way through Deponia and all kinds of other games that I can't think of at the moment, but... Here's hoping. These credits are going on a bit longer than I would have thought. Am I supposed to press enter or something? Oh, okay, I pressed spacebar and it pulled up that. Doesn't seem like I can actually skip these. There we go. I was running out of things to talk about. Hey, how you doing? Hi. My name's Guybrush Threepwood and I want to be a pirate. Yikes! Don't sneak up on me like that. Um, I'm over this way. Ah, well then, Thriftweed. Threepwood. Guybrush Threepwood. I see. So, you want to be a pirate, eh? You look more like a flooring inspector. But if you're serious about pirating, go talk to the pirate leaders. You'll find them in the scum bar. Gosh, thanks. I'll do that. Bye now. I'm off to seek my fortune. Good luck! Alright, Weepwood, let's go seek our um, fortune. Where did you say those pirate leaders were? The Scum Bar. Right. Thanks! Alrighty. You, I recognize your voice so much. At first I thought you were uh, Cruller from Psychonauts. Part 1, The Three Trials. Alright, three pirate trials. Let's go. So here I am. Okay, go. Oh, yeah. Walk to cliffside. Oh, yeah. Now, this is a point and click ass point and click. Governor Marley. Look at the poster. Walk to cliffside. So, can I get in here at all? No, nope, we can't do anything here, but look at the poster, it seems. Gonna have to. I'm, I, I'm gonna be pixel hunting a lot, probably. Lego. How we doing? Hello? Look at. Oh, wait. Oh, look at. Right click to look Marley. at. Okay. When there's only one candidate, there's only one choice. Oh boy, is that true? Jeez. All right, Governor Marley. Let's go. That reminds me way too much of the elections that go on around here because, uh, yeah, there's always just one candidate because <laughs> I live in a small town. There it is, the scum bar. All right, what's all the way over here though? Maybe, maybe I should explore a little bit. I don't know anything. Archway? I don't see anything special about it. Are you sure? Okay, walking through it gets me out here. Oh god, no, 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 let's not go here, let's not go here. Um, Grim Fandango is another one of the, uh, games I was always sad I never played. I did watch a, um, a playthrough of Grim Fandango, though. Very, very good game. Very, very good game. Just never played it myself. But these, I've never even seen an LP. Hello, everyone. How we doing? 
I don't think it's wise to wake a sleeping pirate. Why not? I don't think it's wise to wake a sleeping pirate. Okay, well they're not sleeping, they're just drinking. Talk to them. Ahoy there, stranger. New in town? Uh, name's Guybrush Three- uh, Threepwood. I'm new in town. My name's Guybrush Threepwood. I'm new in town. Guybrush Threepwood? Ha 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 ha! That's the stupidest name I've ever heard. Rude. Uh, I don't know. I kind of like Guybrush. Or, yeah, it is pretty dumb, isn't it? Well, what's your name? Well, what's your name? My name is Mancom Seatwood. So, what brings you to Melee Island, anyway? TM? <laughs> well, your name's not, not too much uh, to look at, either, I'm going to be honest. Uh, I want to be a pirate. be a pirate. Oh, really? You should go talk to the important-looking pirates in the next room. They're pretty much in charge around here. They can tell you where to go and what to do. Where can I find the governor? Where can I find the governor? Governor Marley. Her mansion is on the other side of town. But pirates aren't as welcome around her place as they used to be. I'm welcome everywhere I go. Yeah, I'm sure that holds up. I'm welcome everywhere I go. Whatever you say, just watch out for those guard dogs. Uh-oh, looks like my grog is going flat, so you'll have to excuse me. Nice talking to you. Have fun on Melee Island. I guess that was another point-and-click. Uh, I mean, I've played a lot of point-and-clicks on the channel. I just can't think of them all right now. Virtualverse was another really, really good one that I played. You're having a fun time, aren't you, friend? I don't want to bother them. I don't want to bother them. Okay, so what about this next table? They're busy listening to the guy on the left. What are you looking at me for? Uh, hi. Uh... Let's see, why aren't pirates welcome at the governor's house? Let's introduce ourselves first. I'd like to introduce myself. My name's Guybrush. Yeah? So what? I'm a guy and I like the brush. Why aren't pirates welcome at the governor's house? Because of Lechop, that's why. He's the guy that went to the governor's for dinner and never wanted to leave. He fell for her in a big way, but she told him to drop dead. So he did, and then things really got ugly. How so? What's so scary about the LeChuck guy, despite being dead? What's so scary about this LeChuck guy? LeChuck was a fearsome pirate. He tried to impress the governor by sailing off to find the secret of Monkey Island. But a mysterious storm came up and sank his ship, leaving no survivors. We thought that that was the end of the fearsome pirate, LeChuck. We were wrong. I see. What happened then? What happened then? He still sails the waters between here and Monkey Island. His ghost ship is an unholy terror upon the sea. That is why we are all in here and not out pirating. Okay, so ghost captain out there haunting people. Nobody could find the secret of Monkey Island, and that's what we're gonna do, because we're a strapping young lad and we want to be a pirate. Excuse me, but I'm looking for the dark board. Dartboard? You don't have one anymore. There was a horrible accident. Drinking the darts don't mix. This is true. Maybe, maybe basketball instead? Where can I get a drink? A drink? You could wait for the cook to notice you. But that would take all day. Just find a mug and sneak into the kitchen. That is what we all do. Look, uh, this whole leg chop thing has me pretty shaken up, so, uh, if you don't mind. Alright, well, you're pretty shaken up. Okay, so, I have to find a mug. I thought I could maybe steal a mug from one of them, but they don't have a mug sitting out. So, we're just gonna go. We gotta make you a pirate, Guybrush. Yar har har! Oh. Ask me about Loom. 
Hi yourself. Hi yourself. Hi. Nice hat. Nice hat. Hi. Uh huh. So tell me about Loon. So, tell me about Loon. You mean the latest masterpiece of fantasy storytelling from Lucasfilm's Brian Moriarty? Why, it's an extraordinary adventure with an interface of magic. Stunning, high-resolution 3D landscapes, sophisticated score and musical effects, not to mention the detailed animation and special effects, elegant point-and-click control of characters, objects and magic spells. <laughs> Beat the rush! Go out and buy Loon today! Did I just get a very, very old advertisement in 2022? <laughs> Talking about 3D visuals and stunning effects. High resolution. I thought you were gonna start going on about blast processing and teraflops. Alright. Jeez, what an obvious sales pitch. Sorry, but on some topics I just get carried away. Nice talking to you. Nice talking to you. Is this a real Oi. game? I have to imagine it's a real game, because if it is a real game, I've never heard of it. I know, I'm uncultured swine. Pardon me. So, which one was you? Was that you? I guess that was you, huh? Okay, there's no one else. Ooh, I can talk to the I puppy. Anything special about it? No. Oh no, he does walk to curtain. Well, oh wait, no, there we go. Talk to. You're looking real spiffy. Woof. What the hell? You can talk. Woof LeChuck? Okay. Thank you for your assistance, Spiffy. I understood parts of that. Uh, alright, so is that everything we can do in here? Seems like most of it. I can talk to you. I can walk to the curtain. Can... Yeah, so I guess we're gonna walk to the curtain. There we go. Now we're on the other side of the screen. Look at us. Okay, there's the cook. So I need a mug. I need to steal a mug from someone. Let's look at the fireplace. Let's do it. Cozy. Cozy. Uh, Cozy. hey you. Nope, I can't talk to the... Okay, walk to important looking pirates. Let's talk to you dorks. How we doing? What be ye wanting, boy? I be wanting to be a fireman. I want to be a fireman. I get lost, boy. You bother us. Oh, sorry. Okay. What be ye wanting, boy? I actually don't want to be a fireman. Fireman, I mean to kill you all, actually. I mean to kill you all. I get lost, boy. You bother us. Okay, you don't care. You don't care. Who all right. Be ye wanted, boy? You're not very intimidated by me. I want to be a pirate. So what? Why bother us? Hey, don't forget we're short on help because of this whole chuck thing. So. So, no pirates means no swag, and no swag means no grog, and we're getting dangerously low on grog. Hmm. Do you have any special skills? I can hold my breath for ten minutes. Well, all right. But you don't become a pirate just by asking. You'll have to go through... The three trials. Uh, what three trials are those? There are three trials every pirate must pass. You must master the sword, and the art of thievery, and the quest. The what? Treasure hunting, you sea urchin. Right. 
You must prove yourself in each of these three areas. Swordplay, thievery, and the, the treasure huntery. Then return with proof that you've done it. And then you must drink grog with us. Grog! Can we upgrade to rum? I mean, I don't know. Grog never sounded super good. Uh, what's in that grog stuff anyway? What's in that grog stuff anyway? Grog is a secret mixture which contains one or more of the following. Kerosene, propylene glycol, artificial sweeteners, sulfuric acid, rum, acetone, red dye number two, scum, axle grease, battery acid, and or pepperoni. As you can probably imagine, it's one of the most caustic, volatile substances known to man. Sounds like it. The stuff eats right through these mugs, and the cook is losing a fortune replacing them. <laughs> oh yeah, that's hilarious. Uh, wow, you sounded exactly like the Flying Dutchman there from Spongebob. You're a bunch of foul-smelling, grog-swilling pigs. You're a bunch of foul-smelling, grog-swilling pigs. To be a pirate, you must also be a foul-smelling, grog-swilling pig. All right, so tell me more about mastering the sword. Tell me more about mastering the sword. First, get here your sword. Okay, you step must one. seek out and defeat the sword, master. Someone in town can probably direct you. Okay. Oh! You want to find somebody to train you first. <laughs> Imagine trying to take on a sword master without any training. <laughs> okay, it's gonna be neat to kind of see the, the uh, transformation of Guybrush here. Tell me more about mastering the art of fever. We want you to procure a small item for us. The idol of many hands in the governor's mansion. The governor keeps the idol of many hands in a display case in the mansion outside the town. You'll have to get past the guards, Patrick. The tricky part will be getting past the dogs outside. Hey, they're a particularly vicious bunny. They might be able to drug him or something. That'd be rude. Uh, okay, and then treasure hunting. Tell me more about treasure hunting. Legend has it that there's a treasure buried here on the island. All you must do is find the legendary lost treasure of Vele Island and bring it back here. Should I have a map or something? Well, you can hardly expect to find a treasure without a map. And don't forget! X marks the spot! <laughs> yes, 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 of I'll course it does. Alright, well we got our three tasks. To our grog. So I imagine that's... Alright, so that's that's gonna be our three tasks for most of the game, I'm guessing? I'm guessing that's not the entire game. Uh, can we go through the door or anything, I wonder? Open. Hey! You can't come back here! Okay, well we can't do that. So I do have I to leave and about it. go to town, I guess. I so we. About it. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to right click. Damn it! Stop saying you don't see anything special about it. So who would we talk to about some of these other things? They said someone in town. They didn't say someone in the bar. So. Meanwhile, deep uh, beneath uh, Monkey Island, the ghost pirate LeChuck ship lies anchored in a river of lava. What's with this funky music? Captain LeChuck, sir. I... Ah, there's nothing like the hot winds of hell blowing in your face. No, sir. Nothing like it. Ah, <laughs> uh, sir. I... It's days like this that make you glad to be dead. Oh, yes, sir. Glad to be dead. <laughs> We are glad to be dead, right? Oh, yes, sir. I, I feel so lucky that you happened to capture my ship and murdered me and everyone on board. <laughs> yes, yes, sir. Lucky. 
glad to hear it. Now, what was it you disturbed me for? Uh, y yes, sir. Well, you see, we might have a problem on Melee Island. Problem? What possible problem could there be? I've got those sissy pirates so scared of the sea, they're afraid to take a bath. Well, there seems to be a new pirate in town. Actually, he's a pirate wannabe. Young, inexperienced, probably nothing to worry about. Badass, you forgot to say badass. I bother you with it. <laughs> I'd rather take it care of myself. Wait! I'll handle this personally. My plans are too important to be messed up by amateurs. Yes, sir. God, I recognize the hell out of that character's voice. Jeez. There's going to be a lot of voice actors I really, really recognize from this, huh? Since it was so long ago and a lot of voice actors are probably getting their start on things like these. My God. All right, had to go take care of something, but we are back. So what am I doing? Where am I going? They said talk to someone in town. And they would tell me how to do things, so maybe you? I wish we had like an ob an objective list, but I know, I know. I'm a, I'm a spoiled, spoiled modern day player, so of course I want Excuse that. Excuse me, but do you have a cousin named Sven? Uh, what? what? Never mind. Good night. Oh, it's a code. Excuse me, but do... Now oh, it's only you again. Uh, could you tell me that code again? Uh, my cousin Sven sends his regards. My cousin Sven sends his regards. I see. Let's talk business. Oh? You want to buy a map to the legendary lost treasure of Melee Island? Okay, well that was a very existence. easy code to get. Rare. Very rare. Only 100 pieces of eight. No thanks, I don't have any money. Uh, no thanks. I don't have enough money. Well then, buzz off, kid. It's bad for business. Can I have your parrot, though? I'd like your parrot. Okay, well you, you gave me nothing to go off of. Hey, so. don't mess with my rat. Okay. Nice pants. I said don't pester the rat. Oh, okay. Talk to men of low moral fiber. Gotcha. Hey, nice rat. Hey, nice rat. Do you like rats? Uh, especially in a light wine sauce? No thanks. Yes, I love rats. They're very intelligent creatures. <laughs> More intelligent than him. Why, there's a story around these parts that a bunch of rats actually crewed a ship here from Fable the Monkey Island. No, that's not right. It was actually a group of monkeys. That's amazing. No way could a bunch of stupid monkeys crew a ship. I wouldn't be so sure. That's amazing. I mean, in Sekiro, the monkeys have guns and swords. That's amazing. But true! Also, monkeys when are intelligent. They, arrived, they sold the ship for a pretty penny! Only time I've seen anyone get the better of old Stan in a deal. <laughs> I thought it was rats. Actually, now that I think about it, the, the ones in Sekiro were actually apes. I think there were some monkeys too, though. Do you guys know the sneaky looking man on the opposite corner? Yeah. Do you guys know the sneaky looking man on the opposite corner? Wanna buy a map, eh? Our maps are top quality, not like the bird-caged liners you get from that clown across the street. <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> These are actually copies of the minutes of the last meeting of the Melee Island PTA. Can't even give them away. <laughs> Want one? Uh, no, but I'll take one if you give me two pieces of eight. Uh, yeah, that might be useful. Uh, yeah, I'll take one if you give me two pieces of eight. No, but I'll take one if you give me two pieces of eight. Okay, that's fair. Oh, wow. That worked. Really? Say, are you guys pirates? 
No, we're a wandering circus troupe. Uh, but this <laughs> rat scared away the elephant. <laughs> Shut up! Of course we're pirates. You can't buy clothes like these off the rack. What do you want? What's in the keg? How come you're on the street corner, not on a ship, looting, pillaging, sacking, that sort of thing? What's in the keg? What's in the keg? Rum. Jam. Jam. Uh, rum. Uh, rum and jam. It's an old pirate favorite. Everybody knows that. Really interested in this pirating thing. I'm really interested in this pirating thing. What do you want? Yeah, what about this? How come you're on this street corner and not on a ship? Looting, pillaging, sacking, that sort of thing. Well, pirating hasn't been panning out so well for us. There are some unnaturally talented pirates in the area right now. Operating out of Monkey Island. So we've been pursuing alternate means of self-support. We're trying to start up a circus. It was working out well, until the rats scared off the elephant. Now you've depressed us. Go home. <laughs> now you've depressed us. All right, all right, cool. I'm not gonna warn you again. Oh, sorry, Leave I didn't mean. alone. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hover over your rat. I apologize. My God. So yeah, they weren't joking about the circus. So sign. Hello. Bye. Interesting. Okay, what's in there and what's in here? What's this say? Ye old rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle shop. I see. Serving your rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle needs for over 50 years. Fantastic. I'm glad that I can go- oh, it won't let me go in. I can't get my rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle. Whatever. Let's- let's go over here. Let's just see what we got over here. Ooh, you look crazy. Hello- oh, you were going in here too- oh, well that was rude. I was going in there, you know. Baskets. So- so did I actually get... Like, do I have an inventory of sorts? I do. Okay, there we go. I imagined I was gonna have an inventory. So we do have the minutes, and we do have sure two pieces of, of eight. spelling errors. I have two pieces of eight. So I need a hundred to get the map. Awesome. Only 98 more to go. Walk to chickens. What? Poor chickens. Are those chickens? They don't look like chickens. Jeez. Gee, I wonder what's in these baskets. Why don't Gee, you search them? In these baskets? Why don't you search them? Okay, that's not even a basket statue. No thanks. I'd rather not touch any of this creepy voodoo stuff. Okay, those look like chickens. These do not, though. I was like, I, I guess it's the shadow. That's what it is. I was like, what is this? This is like a crow. Let's see. There's a jar of bat drippings. A box Wano. that says assorted scales. A shaker full of monkey flakes. Ew. And some cat knuckles. Cat knuckles? How barbaric! I know! Poor kitties. Also, poor all the other things. Monkey flakes? Like, eh. I don't know about all that. I don't know about any of that, to be honest. Hmm. A rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle. What possible use could that have? Well, there's an entire shop dedicated to it. It reminds me of those shops you see that are like such a niche shop. It's like, how does this place function throughout the year? Like, you live in a place where it doesn't even snow, and there's like a skiing and snowboarding shop, and you're like, what? How do you survive? How do you pay rent? Usually the answer is they, they only need to sell a few things each. Poor little thing. Uh, Whatever it was. Like, quarter to actually keep up rent. At least that's the, place with, that's the deal with like hot tub and jacuzzi places. Now this is the cup of a carpenter. Okay. We got cool beads. So can I go over here? I can indeed. Hello. What may I help you with, son? Uh, Guybrush Threepwood, and I'm a mighty pirate. Wait. Don't say anything. I can sense your name is... is... Guybrush. Guybrush nose hair. No, no. Threepwood. Guybrush Threepwood. Am I not right? 
Wow, that was amazing. Do you know any other tricks? Wow, that was amazing. Do you know any other tricks? I do not deal in tricks. What I know is the truth. I guess I really don't need to be reading it every single time. I'm just like, this is how people know that I can, that, that, which one I picked. But yeah, I guess not, because you read it every time too, and then it's just redundant. Uh. So, my mind reading skills tell me it is your future you are interested in. Are you certain this is something you really wish to know? Yes. Yes, tell me everything that's going to happen to me. I am getting a vision. Whoa, I strobing see you lights. taking a voyage. A long voyage. I see you captaining a ship. Yeah. I see. What? See what? I see a giant monkey. Yikes. King Kong? I see you inside the giant monkey. Ew, gross. Wait. It's all becoming clear. Your journey will have many parts. You will see things better left unseen. You will hear things better left unheard. You will learn things better left unlearned. What kind of things? I hate surprises. No. The time is not right to know. When you know your purpose, come see me. I will let you know then. Okay, back to the rave. Yikes. Oh, goodbye. Okay, was there anything else I needed to get in here? I imagine this was all just to just to talk to you, right? Uh, I'm back and ready to know about my future. So I guess I'll just, just be going. Be going now. Yeah. I guess we don't need to know anything else here right now. I didn't get any items from here. So, yeah, no, I guess we're done in here. You're telling me that my, my adventure will have many parts, which makes sense. There's a lot of these games. And a new one coming out, like, however many years later. Alright, well, I think that's probably enough for a first episode here. So I think we're going to go ahead and end it off. Definitely a very classic point-and-click adventure. Something very, very nice about these things. I have a lot of fun just playing them and walking around and getting used to the world and all of that. It's doing some really, really cool stuff for the time period, too. I mean, I don't have a ton of experience with point and clicks, and I definitely didn't play a lot of the older ones. I've never even played Myst, really. I've watched playthroughs of all the Myst games, but I never played Myst myself. Although Myst is a very different beast from this, but... Yeah, I'm excited to see what else this has to offer and play the new game when it comes out on the 19th of September, so... Hope you've enjoyed this first episode, and I'll see you next time for some more.